He was a, a kind young man. He was a young man that uh, very mannable and very respectful. New at 11 and only on 9 on your side. We are hearing from the grandparents of the man who drove his truck into a Fairfield pond with his children inside. The driver and his six-year-old daughter died. We just received these pictures of the two family members. The driver was 35-year-old Morantz Harrison. His daughter was six-year-old Nina Harrison. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. And I'm Craig McKee. Nine on your side brought you live coverage of this story last night as it was breaking. The Butler County Coroner now says both family members died from an accidental drowning at the Villages of Wildwood Apartments. Another four-year-old was in the pickup and was rescued. And tonight, the grandparents of the driver spoke only with Nine on Your Side's Kristen Swilly. She joins us live right now with how the family members really want their loved ones to be remembered. Kristen? Yeah, good evening, guys. The Harrisons tell me that Morantz and his daughter were inseparable, and that was true until the very end. About one o'clock last night, somebody called me. A man said, Morantz is not here anymore. I said, what do you mean? It was a call Rufus Harrison never imagined he'd get. It's been a real trying day altogether. I've been to the, uh, the site where it took place. Rufus and his wife, Willa Zena, are now mourning the loss of their grandson and great-granddaughter, who both died after their truck went into this pond at the villages of Wildwood Apartments. I would say he was a, a, a nice young man. Yes, he was. Very nice young man. The Harrisons say their grandson, Morantz, didn't have an apartment in the complex and was staying with a friend until two weeks ago. He lived with them. We will miss him. And I... Uh... He did go to church with us sometime. She and I were the two main sources that he had to look for, for any kind of support. The Harrisons lost their daughter, Morantz's mother, four years ago to multiple sclerosis and say they had a special bond with their grandson. I would like for him to be remembered as a fun-loving guy. And as for their great-granddaughter, Nina, who witnesses say Morantz tried to save. And I think that her potential was so unlimited. She was such of a sweet thing. Now the Harrisons tell me the four-year-old boy who survived Morantz Jr. is in good health and doing as well as can be expected. We're live in Fairfield this evening. Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.